348 divisible by 12? For us to answer that question, we have to consider all the four items there at the checklist. In this case, the divisor is 12. Factors of 12 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Though we can have negative factors, this video only discusses and considers positive factors. Next is for us to check the pairing of factors that will right away be equivalent to our divisor here, which is 12. In that case, our pairings would be 1 and 12, 4 and 3, and 2 and 6. Next part of the checklist is for us to get the pair of factors as much as possible would be less than or equal to 9. Note that in this kind of problem, we can choose pair 4 and 3 or pair 2 and 6. Considering either of these pairs will still give us the correct answer. Let's consider the pair 4 and 3. Is 348 divisible by both 4 and 3? You may check this video to know divisibility rules on smaller numbers. And don't forget to subscribe! To know if a number is divisible by 4, we just have to check the last two digits of the given number, and the last two digits must be divisible by 4. In this case, 48 is divisible by 4, making the entire 348 divisible by 4. This time, for us to know if 348 is divisible by 3, the divisibility rule asserts us that we just have to check the sum of the digits of 348 and its sum must be divisible by 3. Notice that the sum of the digits of 348 is 15, and 15 is divisible by 3, making the entire 348 divisible by 3. Since both 4 and 3 divides 348, automatically 348 is divisible by 12. Just in case you chose the pair 2 and 6, as noted, will have the same answer, which is yes. Let's verify. Is 348 divisible by 2? For us to know if a number is divisible by 2, the last digit must just be an even number. It happens that 8 is an even number which means the entire 348 is divisible by 2. Is 348 divisible by 6? Applying the same idea, we just have to check if 348 is both divisible by 3 and 2. We already checked that 348 is already divisible by 2. How about 3? Yes, we verify that too. 348 is divisible by 3. Since 348 is both divisible by 2 and 6, then 348 is also divisible by 12. So to answer if 425 is divisible by 15, We just have to get factors of 15 which are small enough for us to check its divisibility. In that case, factors of 15 that can be identified easily would be 5 and 3. Is 425 divisible by 5? Yes, because for us to know if a number is divisible by 5, we just have to check if the last digit would either be 5 or 0. Is 425 divisible by 3? For us to know if 425 is divisible by 3, we just have to get the sum of the digits of 425 
and check if the sum is also divisible by 3. In this case, the sum of the digits of 425 would be 11, and 11 is not divisible by 3. Since we have to have 425 to be divisible by both 5 and 3, the answer here is no. Since 425 is only divisible by 5, but not 3.